Welcome to the second virtual school learning action cell presentation on unpacking and combining of melts LDM2 module 2. I am your moderator slash slack documenter Janeline Espel presenting the unpackers Aisha Grafiel Jevimi Ibanios Janeline Espejo Anno Grace Armeje Cheryl Daluyo Dexter J. Penuela Presenting the Combiners Mark Ian Lanceta Jinson Paliado Harold Reyes Meluna Kagape Anne Rose Valientes Randy Quinto Before we start, let us listen to Sir Conrad G. Gamboa, our Slack facilitator. Good day everyone and welcome to our virtual Slack. Today we will be witnessing our team in the group presentation on unpacking of milks. Our target is to unpack and combine milks in a logical sequence and align with the content and performance standard. God bless everyone. Uh, describe the different types of plate boundaries. Okay. Which is, kagaya na sinabi ko, napapol po ito for the fourth, uh, third week po, ay fourth week po ng lesson natin in the new normal. And in, in this standard, if it is, we're going to examine it under the content and skill competency under uh, revised Blom's taxonomy. Since my, my standard here described the different types of the boundaries, so it, it falls under the understa understand. It's because it's under the word or it is under the described words. So ito po yung aking... Uh, standard that kailangan ko po siyang i-unpack. So, in unpacking, difficult, uh, in unpacking the standards po, I have five. Number one for the objectives is uh, identify the types of plate boundaries. Second, uh, describe the movement of plate boundaries. Then, third is classify uh, plate boundaries according to the direction of its movement. Then draw the directions of plate movements using arrow. And the last one is create a model of plate boundary using clay soil. So if we're going to try it into Weeb's depth of knowledge, it only falls to the GOK number one, which is only recall and reproduction. Then under the last uh, row, which we have here, the objective of the lesson is Describe the different types of plate boundaries and the learning task or the task of the student is to identify the types, describe the movements, and classify plate boundaries according to its direction, draw the directions of plate movements using arrow, and create a model of plate boundary using plate soil. Now for the strategies and techniques which refers to the task of the teacher, so number one here, we need to show a map of plate boundaries, uh, different uh, different from the world map. So we are only referring here to the plate boundaries map, and then we have uh, we need also to show the different movements of plates. So we're going to use here a model if we could have a drawing or a demonstration. Then for the last one. Or for the product, so they were going to create a model based on their under, 
an understanding of the lesson. So they're going to create a model of the three types of plate boundaries. So ito po yung aking output sa unpacking of standards, MELC 2. Yun lang po, sir. Okay, thank you, Ma'am Aish. Next is the combining of MELCs. This will be presented by your partner, Sir Mark Ayan Lancita. Again, thank you, Ma'am Aisha, for your presentation. Thank you, Din Po. Welcome, Po. This day, I will be presenting to you a lesson guide for Science 9, Quarter 1. So basically, the Quarter 1 in Grade 9 Science, basically focusing on biology. And it comprises for eight, so for seven week session. So the week one, the content is focusing on the respiratory and circulatory system, working with other organ system, with one milk, which is S9 LT1 AB26. And this week one is an, it's extended for week two. And another week two is another lesson presented to week two, which is the effects of lifestyle on the functioning of respiratory and circulatory systems. And the um, next of it is in fair how one lifestyle can affect the functioning of respiratory and circulatory system. The same with week three and four, it has one learning competency, but has two contents. Week five only ha has only one con one lesson or one content with one melt and competency. And week six has one content, one learning competency or melt, but this week six and week seven have the same content as well as the learning competency or the most essential learning competency. For this time, I will be presenting to you the combining most essential learning competency for first quarter, week one in grade nine science. Honestly, I am very open for constructive criticism because I still know that I don't master it. I tried my best, but I hope it would turn out okay. <laughs> so on this grade level, the week one, most of the subjects, has only one most essential learning competency except for math, I think. Yeah, parang math. And then, this is my suggested performance task. The goal is to make an infographic about the relationship of circulatory and respiratory system and transporting nutrients, gases, and other molecules. Of course, the role of a child or a student is a graphic artist. The audience addresses a wider general audiences. This is now the situation. The students are tasked to explain to, stu to other students their respiratory and circulatory system and their functions using an infographic. This may be done through a photon or an app brochure, a PowerPoint. They should be artistically present on how important healthy lifestyle to our health, specifically in our respiratory and circulatory system, to our community and economy. And I am certain that with the present situation of our country this time, learners would be able to, to relate the importance of the um, entire organ system to our economy, especially that we are now facing a pandemic, which is COVID-19. So the product, the expected product of our students are infographic. The standard are agreed by a class rubric. And these are the rubric. By this time, sir, I use only holistic rubric, which comprises creativity, five points. Content, five points. Timeliness, five points. I hope you've learned from this presentation. I am also willing for some suggestions and constructive criticism after this presentation. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much, Sir Mark. You deserve a virtual clap. Next presenter natin is the group two. This time we will listen to the presentation of the output of the Filipino teachers group. Uh, Sir Jingson Paliado and Ma'am Chebi May Ebanos. Okay, good morning everyone. Ito po yung output namin in the unpacking the standard. So yung standard po namin doon po sa first quarter ng grade 7. Okay, ito po nasusuri ang pagkamakatotohanan ng mga pangyayari batay sa sariling karanasan. According to content skills computer service Zoom taxonomy, na fall po siya doon sa analyze. Okay, at yung mga objects po namin, meron kaming apat na objectives. Una, na iisa-isa ang mga makatotohan ng mga pangyayari mula sa bintang dulak. Number two, nasa at nawaan ang ilang dulak. Number three, nasusuri ang mga patandaan sa pagkilalang na, ng makatotohanan at di to pangyayari sa binasa. Number four, na Kikilala ang mundi at makatotohan ng pangyayari na maiuugnay sa sarili kasan. At according po doon sa uh, web depth of knowledge, doon po sa DOK, doon po siya na belong sa strategic thinking. Kaya at yung mga uh, strategy sa techniques po na gagawin ng guro, <clears throat> una, katlakay, Number two, pagbahagi ng mga sariling opinion at kuro-kuro. Number three, pag-unawa sa dulang basa. At ang huli, pagkilala sa dulang binasa. Yun ang po, sir. Uh, sa muli, magandang umago po sa ating lahat. Thank you po, Sir Conrad. Uh, I would like to congratulate the presenters, Ma'am Aisha and Sir Mark. Thank you so much, sir, sa inyo, sir, nga sharing, sa inyong uh, unpacking and combining. Um, uh, Dito po sa unpacking ni Ma'am Aisha, sobrang ano sir, uh, klaro po ang lahat ng mga objectives na kanyang ginawa. Same po kay Sir Mark at at, at nafe-feel ko rin po na kayang-kaya po ng bata na gawin po yung mga, yung mga objectives po na kanilang ginawa. So, congratulations po Ma'am Aisha and, and Sir Mark. Ayun lang po sir, yung aking ano sir, yung, yung aking pong... Uh, let's say, talk, charot lang, about Thank the presentation po ni Ma'am Aisha sa Tani Sir Mark. Thank you so much for your positive uh, sharing of insights on the presentation of Sir Mark and Ma'am Aisha Grapil. Uh, you may now proceed to your presentation of the combining of milks number one and number two, Sir Jingson. The floor is yours. Asa sa magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Uh, sa bagay ito, ako po ay magsishare sa inyo ng combining milks po sa Filipino 9 Quarter 1. Ang content standard po ng Filipino 9 o yung pamantayang pang nilalaman po ay naipapamalas ang mga mag-aaral ng, ng, pag, ng pag-unawa at pagpapahalaga sa mga pang pampanitikan ng timog silang Asia. Ang performance standard o yung pamantayang paganap ay naipapamalas na mag-aaral ang kakayang kumuna katibo mapanuring pag-iisip at pag-unawa at pagpapahalagang pampanitikan pampanitikan gamit ang teknolohiya at iba't ibang uri ng teksto at saling akdang asyano upang mapatibay pagkakilan lang asya. Ang week 1 po natin ay mayroon po tayong content na maikling kwento. Mayroon po tayo ditong dalawang code, uh, Filipino 9 PN uh, unang week hanggang pangalawa, 39, BB, 1A, B, 39. Ang uh, kanyang objectives po ay susuri ang mga pangyayari at ang kaugnayan nito sa kasalukuyan sa lipunang asyano batay sa napakinggang akda. Nabubuo ang sariling paghatol upang mamatid sa mga ideyang nakapaloob sa akda. At dito po, mayroon po tayong baga related po yung dalawang objectives po na aking inilgay dito. Mayroon po tayong nasusuri ang maikling kwento, batay sa paksa, mga tauhan, pagkakasuri ay pagkakasunod-sunod ng pangyayari, estilo sa pagsulat ng author, iba, at iba pa. At ang pangalawang 
objective po, objective po din ay napagsunod-sunod ang mga pangyayari sa akda. Tumako na po tayo sa week 5. Ang content po ay sa naisay. Mayroon po siyang code na F9PT ay F42. Ang kanyang objective ay ipaliliwanag ang sariling ang, ang salitang mahigit sa isang kahulugan. At dito mayroon po ako dito ng ilagay na objective na sa palagay ko ay ay related po siya. Ito ay isusulat ang sariling opinion tungkol sa mga dapat o hindi dapat na katangi kabataang asyano. Week 7, mayroon tayong content na dula at ang kanyang objective ay nakabubuo ng paghusga sa karas karakterisasyon ng mga tauhan sa kasiningan ng akda at naipaliliwanag ang kahulugan ng salita habang nababago ang istruktura nito. At ang huling objectives ay nasusuri ang pagiging makatotohanan ng ilang pangyayari sa isang dula. Nagagamit ang mga ekspresyong nagpapahayag ng katotohanan sa totoo talaga tunay at iba pa. At yung huling week natin, week 8, ito po yung kumbaga magiging uh, output. Mayroon po tayong content na babasahin ng tim babasahin sa timog silangang Asia. Ang kanyang ang kanyang objective po ay naiha na ibabahagi ang sariling pananaw sa resulta ng isinagawang survey tungkol sa tanong na alin sa mga babasahin ng timog silangang Asia ang iyong nag ang, ang iyong nagustuhan. Dumako na po tayo sa sa combining milks na yung mayroon po tayong goal, role, audience, situation, product, and standards. Ang junior high school po, mayroon po tayong subjects na Filipino, English, Math, Science, APAN, ESP, and MAPE. Ang week number at quarter nito is week 1 and quarter 1. Sa grade 10 po ito. Ang milk, na, ang milk ng Filipino 1 sa week 1, quarter 1 is na, ipa, na ipahahayag ang mahalagang kaisipan o pananaw sa napakinggan na mitolohiya. Ang, ang objective ng English, week 1 ay use information yes, informat pan discussion, etc. in everyday conversations and changes. Ang uh, naman ng math sa week 1 ay generate pattern. Ang sa science naman ay describe and relate the distribution of actives, earthquakes, epicenters, and major... Yes, Sir Jinx. Meron pa po kayong gustong idagdag? Sir, yung rubrics, yung rubrics ko, Sir, basa kung Milk, sir, wala po ako dito maipakita na, na rubric, sir. Pero, sir, mayroon pa ko nilagay dito na na refer to the O31, sir, is 2020. Honest sir. DA po. Oh, very good. Mas madali yon. So, yun ang ginawa nyo sa template nyo. Okay. So, meron pa pong... Okay. So, maraming maraming salamat, Sir Jinx. Thank you so much for your presentation and congratulations for a very good job that your yes, group sir. has done. Good morning, everyone. So before I'll proceed with the presentation of our output for our unpacking and combining the melts, I would like to make my comment or critic uh, sa ating presenters po kan kanina. Okay, so let me start first with the presentation of Mom JV. Um, yes, you gave us the standard for your subject, but there are some parts na lacking po, specifically on identifying the web's depth of knowledge. And of, at the same time, yung objectives part po ng ating template, missing din po yung tatlong objectives 
And then for Sir Jingson's presentation, um, I really do appreciate um, yung pag-analyze po ng ating mga content standards. But, ah, yeah. And I also commend yung pagsabi mo po ng annexes for our rubrics, which is very good also kung hindi, na, kung hindi natin na-present doon, at least nabigay po sa amin yung annex na naka-attach. So, yun po. So, for our group, uh, I'll be presenting to you the first presentation which is all about unpacking of standards. So, we all know that in unpacking, we will focus on the learning targets to make them actionable or doable sa ating learners. So in this case, um, though I I'm handling mathematics, so my standard is illustrate quadratic equation and it has the code M9AL-I small a dash one. So I believe we are already familiar on the indications of this code, kung anong week and the like. Next one is the content or skills complexity. In this case, we are catering or making into consideration the revised Bloom's taxonomy and Webb's depth of knowledge. So first, um, in identify in in unpacking our milks. We first identify the key concepts and skills. So what we need to do is, of course, highlight our verb with red and highlight our noun with blue. So dito circulate yung ating learning tasks and learning objectives. So my verb is illustrate. And in our Bloom's taxonomy, wala po tayong makikitang illustrate in the hierarchy. But what I did is look for the synonyms of the word illustrate. So that is describe or, yeah. Or, ba? <laughs> describe. Yeah. So in that case, ang gusto kong gawin ng bata is focus on the application on transforming quadratic equation into its standard form. So nasa stage siya ng apply. So in an unpacking of standards, uh, we will take into consideration the remembering stage the understanding stage before we proceed to the application. So, dapat yung tatlong to ay mapagdaanan ng bata. Then, on the web's depth of knowledge, nasa skills and concepts po siya. So, with that, I have here the following objectives. Describe quadratic equation. So, nasa remembering stage siya. Second is classify whether the given equation is quadratic or not. So, nasa understanding siya. And then the third one is convert quadratic equations in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Dito na tayo sa stage na gusto natin i-focus, which is o or i-strengthen sa bata, which is nasa apply. So, ang, ang ginawa natin is we identify the content or the knowledge, the reasoning or the cognitive skills ng ating students, and at the same time, yung ating skills or performance targets. So, with this, sa ating template, kinapi ko lang yung objective natin from the standard, the learning task from the objectives, and we have the following strategies to attain our learning tasks. Ito yung tutulong sa atin for our teaching and learning process. So we have here showing of film or the video clip. 
specifically siguro PPT or Pautun po. Discussion, so Socratic method. Magkakaroon tayo ng questioning and answering. And the next one is the individual task. And of course, the group task. So that's all for the unpacking of standards. Thank you, Ma'am Jen. Next is Sir Harold Reyes. Good morning, everyone. So God bless us all. The task that I am going to present to you this morning is about the combining the MELCs. Okay, I have just here in my presentation, I just took the core subjects of our grade 11 students for first semester. So I have here the core subjects, physical science, gen math, media, and infer literacy, physical education, and personal development. So I have gotten here based on the thematic, the thematic, uh, con the thematic na required ni sir sa kanyang YouTube channel. I have here and um, made the uh, verb red and blue yung mga nouns. So I have here for physical science we have give evidence for and describe that would be the verb and the noun would be formation of heavier elements. For gen math we have represents. And then the word or the noun would be function. For media and li information literacy, we have described the verb. And then we have the communication as our noun. For physical education, you have self-assess. Then we have here the noun health-related fitness. For personal development, we have the word share. And then the noun would be unique characteristics, habits, and experiences. So I have made my own, my performance task in grasp form. So we have here the goal. I just focus with my subject and I just interrelate this one. I, I don't know if it's right, but uh, so far as I have understood this, in, this also um related to other subjects because this is real more on real life situation for our for my goal i wanted my students to create an innovative mini astrodome showing the formation of elements during for me uh, star formation and evolution the role of my students are the lecture to be a lecturer, so they, they will give lecture to their audience. Their audience would be students. The situation that I will have given to my students is that I will be giving them as I will make them, uh, I will assign it with a group, and then the task to show significant events in the formation of elements during star formation and evolution. The product that I'm expecting is the mini astrodome with different video clips. So standards, their work will be graded according to the performance-based agreed rubrics. But then I have here specify itong rubrics natin. Contents, 5 points. Accuracy, 10 points. Creativity, 5 points. A total of 20 points. So that is for our um, combining MELCs po. And for our combining the topics... Wait lang po, sir. For... My lesson guide for physical science quarter one, the content standard, I have here six content standard in physical science because we have a lot of topics included in the first quarter. But then good to note that in our subject, it, they are already categorized. So we have here for performance standard, I have also here two performance standard. Basically, this would cover the six content standard for the first quarter. So, dalawa po yung performance uh, standard na ibibigay ng mga bata. So, as I go through with our, our MELC's most essential learning competencies for this, this quarter one in science, it is very good that in... In our in our subject po sir, meron na po siyang nakategorize na siya per week. So in our week 1, meron po akong three topics kaya uh, two topics I mean kaya nilagay ko diyan 
1.1 in the code, then 1.2. Kasi it means to say in week 1, we will have two topics. So in week 1, we have Big Bang Theory and the formation of elements. And we have here the evidence for described formation of heavier elements during star formation evolution and explain how the concepts of atomic number led to the synthesis of the new elements in the laboratory. For week two, the topics that are covered here focus on the polarity of molecules. And then we have two topics, molecules, whether polar or nonpolar, given its structure and relate the polarity of molecules and its properties. For week three, still, this is in the polarity molecules. However, the competency here differs because students here will describe the general types of intermolecular forces and that is not the same with week two, which is that they are just only going to determine the molecule, whether polar or nonpolar. And for the 3.2, they were going to explain the effects of intermolecular forces. And for week four, you have their the relationship on function and structures of macromolecules, then we have a lot of macromolecules. We will cover here carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acid, and protein. So these macromolecules are so broad and they really have to work on this mm. one in just one week. So hindi kaya po ito na lalagyan ko pa ng isang topic. Kaya isang topic lang ito for week 4. For week 5, so madali lang itong week 5, I have subtask this one into two topics. Kaya meron tayong this, um, they are under aspects of chemical change. They are going to determine the rate and amount of uh, amount needed for a change. And for week 6, isang topic din ito kasi napaka broad din ng topic na ito. Kasi meron tayong calculation dito ng amount, uh, calculate, calculate the amount of product form. So they really have to uh, determine first and know yung reaction ng chemicals. And for week 7 still, we have, uh, the topic would be how energy are harnessed. So isang week po ito kasi marami pong klaseng energy. But our focus will only focus with fossil fuels, biogas, geothermal, hydrothermal, battery, solar cells, and biomass. For week 8, so the, ito yung last topic, when we have the properties and mode of action of consumer products, patulad ng mga makeup or mga ano natin, shampoo, yung mga panghugas ng plato. So we will have to classify them based on their products, label, and uses. So yung ginagamit mo sa home at saka yung ginagamit mo sa sarili mo. So um, we have here two topics included. One at home, one would be for personal clean uh, hygiene po. So yun lang po ang aking maipresent for our combining the milks. Thank you, Sir Harold, for your presentation on the combining of milks using the uh, alignment with the content and uh, alignment with the standard. Thank you so much. Uh, to hear the observation and positive insights on the presentation of your group, let us uh, listen to the next presenter. Ma'am Eluna Kagape and Ma'am Enel Grace Armehe. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, for Ma'am Jen and Sir Harold, congratulations, you two, for the pre presentation, especially on the unpacking of Melch for Mathematics 9 and Grade 11 for Quarter 1. Um, both of them... Sir Mark and uh, Sir Mark, Mom Jen and Sir Harold, they really have the natural ability to hand out the presentation. So once again, congratulations. Okay, I would like to add some more. Is it okay, Sir Conrad? Yes, Ma'am Meluna, your insight will be very helpful for us. Okay, so, okay, so pertaining to the presentation. 
seven of the second of the third group rather so i would like to commend to the very good presentation of them for they have uh, done their best in doing the best way of unpacking and combining so sir harold had uh, um presented the very best way of uh, proper content and performance standard when it comes to integration of of the content and the performance of course and for that i would like to say uh, congratulations for the both uh, members of the team that's all thank you congratulations again sir harold and mom jen thank you ma'am kagape it's your time ma'am nl you may start your presentation of your output now thank you sir cons so this is the unpacking standards for english grade 7 so the standard objective here is um use phrases clauses and sentences appropriately and meaningfully so in unpacking first of course we will, we will identify the target skills and of course under that would be the prerequisite skills by using the revised bloom's taxonomy so the content skills complexity for revised bloom's tax taxonomy um use here is on the third level so it works from bottom to top so um use is under apply so the prerequisite um, objective that i make is um under understand and remember so in here the first objective first objective here under understand in the revised bloom's taxonomy um, define phrase class and sentence and then for um the second one would be classify phrase clause and sentence from one another third remember so the specific objective here is use sentences using clause and phrases for the web's depth of knowledge it is under um dok3 which is strategic thinking so the objective use phrase clauses and sentences appropriately and meaningfully so the learning tasks are the following first define phrase clause and sentence second classify phrase clause and sentence from one another and lastly use sentences using clause and phrases so um the techniques and strategies that we will be using in teaching this um subject for english grade seven first um we could have the pretest on phrases clauses and sentences um second we can have class discussion um, another one interactive phrase and class sort and lastly um, they will be making a paragraph that's it thank you oh so my greetings to everyone my apology for this uh sort of i know of disturbance out of the internet connection which is uh very low so my topic uh my assigned task is to present to you the combining of milks. So, as presented, so I have here the most essential learning competencies for English 9 for quarter 1, week 3. So, I would like to take note and for, for you to uh, understand, you know, for us, everyone here, that uh, there are just only three uh, most essential learning competencies provided for great English nine quarter one, and those and those three competencies or, or three milks uh, were intended only for eight weeks. So and those were the express permission oblig obligation and provision using models, use conditionals in expressing arguments employ the appropriate communicative styles for various situations uh, it would be intimate casual conversational consultative and frozen so out of those three uh, milks 
provided for English 9 quarter 1 and intended to be uh, taught for uh, within 8 weeks. So I just uh, chose the third milk, assuming that this is intended for the third week. And that is appropriate communicative <laughs> styles for various situations. And so what I did, I combined the competencies from the English Yung 2016 English CG that are covered by the chosen MELC. And those objectives or competencies are provide words or expressions appropriate for a given situation. And the other one is use normal and inverted word order in creative writing. So this, uh, for compliance, and I know I am doing my best in combining so I had in my mind that I do not know how to combine those three, just only three milks provided for English nine for quarter one. So I just made I just made use of the competencies in the 2016 uh, curriculum guide, and those have also an integration which I made here for the combined milks that I had. Uh, done so use the appropriate communicative styles for various situations with proper word order in a creative writing so as seen the contents here are more on the content standard are more on communicative styles and a word order in a creative writing so the performance here uh basing on the performance it is used the normal word order and to um, provide words or expressions or communicative styles. Now, so the combined milks, go back here sa combined, combined milks. So I had come up into this, use the appropriate communicative styles for various situations with proper word order in a creative writing. So there has already a thematic integration of the content and the performance standard in this combined milks. But I had only taken taken these competencies from the 2016 uh, curriculum curriculum guide so i did not uh, get the milks or the, i did not get uh, the competencies from the provided milks but i chose one that would uh, be that would cover the competencies from the cg and then so i um I had here the grasps based on the given uh, combined milks, based on the given um, competency or most essential competency, which are competencies which are combined already. So, grasp is the most uh, basic uh, basis of what we call this. Is, it is also considered as a rubric these grasps so i also had uh, used this one when i was uh, when i taught no um the performances and other uh learning uh, styles in english so the grasp here is out of the given or out of the combined competencies two competencies and we have here this one so i uh, so we i have here the grasps for the performance task of the learners. So the goal here is the learners will use the featured characteristics of the appropriate communicative style in the given situation by writing a short conversations or a skit in a proper word order. order. So that would be the goal, the target performance of the learners. And the role here is the learners will be the skit writer. So their role are their role are as skit writers or are skit writers and they will create short conversations or a skit out of the given situation so they will try to imagine conversing about the topics to different people they know and what words they're going to wish or they're going to say you know they wish to say so they will also observe the appropriate word order in writing their skit and their answers will be written on a separate sheet of paper so the audience will be of course the different people and 
the learners will let those people know about the appropriate communicative style in a given situation. And the situation here, so they, the learners are not feeling well and are trying to seek for help from their mother and friends. So, and the standards and the product performance, and the product performance, um, they are expected, of course, to um, produce or to create or to write a, to, to write, of course, a dialogue or a skit with proper word order. And, and the standards, they will limit their dialogue to four to five lines and their skit will be graded through the rubric, which is provided in uh, doing the skit writing. And this is it. The quality of writing are the features and the grammar usage and mechanics. No, The features are the quality of writing, grammar, usage, and mechanics. And the uh, points here, 40 points all in all. So 2020. So expert, accomplished, capable, beginner. These are the criteria. And the rest, so if they are expert, so they would have to... Uh, get the points of 20 and the rest no 15 10 and 5 so kindly uh, be guided with this rubric thank you so much ma'am kagape this time we will proceed to the next group ma'am cheryl deluyo and ma'am ann rose valientes and please don't forget your positive insight or comments regarding the work of or the output presentation of Ma'am Enel and Ma'am Kagape. Thank you so much and congratulations, Ma'am Enel and Ma'am Kagape. So, Ma'am Enel, um, I really explained the step-by-step -step process how to unpack the standards. And she also um, identified the verb and noun in her standards okay so when it comes to the presentation of mami luna in combining milks uh slightly parang na ano ako na siya na lipo so correct me if i'm wrong so it should be integrated to other subjects once again, good morning. Good morning, Sir Cons. Good morning. And to my fellow lab teachers, especially to my body body partner, Ma'am Cheryl Daluyo. <laughs> good morning. Okay, so uh, uh, before presenting my uh, presentation about the combining of milks, I would like to uh, to have this uh, comments for for Ma'am Enel and Ma'am Luna, Group 4. Okay, for uh, Ma'am Enel, um she presented the unpacking okay so the objectives and the learning tasks and uh, the strategies or the techniques are visible and clear and of course the concepts the knowledge and uh, skills are being identified okay then next is for mom meluna okay uh the suggested graphs is very good Okay, very good explanation is very good but um there is yeah there, yes there is a lacking my ulang po yung uh, lesson guide it, it is not being presented in lesson guide in combining milks and yung sabi ni ma'am Cheryl kanina yung they're not different subjects are not uh, visible or they are not integrated but overall very good very good explanation I would like to uh, congratulate Ma'am Enel and Ma'am Meluna for their very good presentation. Cheryl, well, kayo po ang papasok? I, yes, sir. Ma okay na po. Nagbalik na po. Ay, okay na. Ikaw muna, Ma'am Shea. <laughs> 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 <Ay, visible. laughs> ano ba? <laughs> Nag-auna. <laughs> Visible, mm -hmm. ay, as lang akong visible yung ano, Sir, ano, presentation. Sir Fons, ano ako na lang po mag-present muna. I, uh, kayo pong dalawa ni Ma'am On, kasi na, 
nakikita na po yung output niyo, Ma'am Sheryl. So, mas maganda na kayo na lang po mag-present. Kung okay lang po kay Ma'am Ann. Ma'am Ann, okay, 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 na po. Okay lang, sir. Okay ah, sige. Po, sir. No problem. <laughs> Maraming salamat, <laughs> Ma'am Ann. Body-body, body, opo. Body-body, okay. <laughs> syempre. Okay, okay, good morning again. Good morning. So, this is my unpacking standard. So, the standard of my... Uh, ang kinunan ko po nito is grade 7 TLE. So, standard is layout garden plot. So, as you can see in my presentation, the color red word is the layout, that is the verb, and garden plot is the noun. Okay, so... In doing this unpacking standard, I considered the uh, Revised Bloom's Taxonomy by Benjamin Blooms and Web Depth of Knowledge. Okay, so layout garden, um, I belong ito siya sa apply na level. So, um, before I proceed to the uh, applied level, so that is the layout. Uh, I considered first the bottom level, the remember, understand, before I proceed to the apply. So, objective number one, define garden plots. Second, explain the steps of preparing garden plots. And third is lay out garden plots. So, under the revised Rome taxonomy layout na belong siya sa level na apply. And the web depth of knowledge, or they be okay to, it is under the skills or concept. Okay, so, objective, the main ob objective is layout garden plots. So, learning task. So, define garden plots. The second, explain the steps of preparing garden plots. Third is lay out garden plots. So, ang ginawa or those strategies or techniques na gagamitin ko is discussion, veggie clips, sharing of ideas, and the output of the learners should uh, they will create a group project that is the garden plot layout yan po lang sir thank you so much ma'am sheryl let's give a virtual clap to her next to present is ma'am ann uh before anything else i would like to, to give a brief introduction of combining the melts sir Okay, so the maps should likewise be combined to observe efficiency in the development of learning resources, which include, uh, which include but are not limited to SLMs, textbooks, teachers' guide activity sheets, and television and radio scripts. Okay, so I am now presenting, as you have seen in the entire screen, my lesson guide. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not confident. Hindi <laughs> ba ako confident na i-share ito? Hindi ko alam kung either tama or may something wrong. So this lesson guide, uh, of course, you can... Uh, lesson guide in AgriCrop quarter 1. By this uh, lesson guide, you can see the content of each milks. Okay, the content of each milks and uh, budgeted milks by content or topic for for eight weeks. Nakikita ko ba? Wait, sir. Okay. So, uh, the content standard, uh, the, the learner demonstrates an understanding of concepts, principles, underlying theories, and actual application in crop production and nursing work. And the performance standard, the learner independently demonstrates common competencies in crop production and nursery work. Okay, so the learning area is uh, types and selection of materials, tools, and equipment that is 
uh, with the code GLEAFA 9ACLA dash E dash 1. That is for one week, uh, week one and, and week two. Po. And then we have. Um, Okay, so and, and then for the uh, week four, um, LO1 prepare materials, tools, and equipments for horticultural work. Still with uh, the code GLEAFA 9A CLA E 1. So the, the following competence, learning competencies so identify the required materials, tools, and equipment according to. The laws provides and our teachers supervise those instru instructions. And uh, 1.2, check farm tools, materials, and equipment for, for folks. And demonstrates, 1.3 demonstrates the correct manual handling procedures and techniques when loading and unloading materials to minimize damage to the load and vehicle. And then 1.4, select and check the suitable personal protective equipment or PPE as required. Okay, so that is for week four. Uh, we, uh, they're going to prepare materials, tools, and equipment for um, horticultural work. Uh, balikan ko lang dito sa week one and week two, they're going to uh, to select the types and selection of materials na gagamitin for, for their nursery work. And then for week, uh, week four, they're going to prepare all the materials that are needed for their uh, nursery work and then for week five uh, undertake horticultural production work as directed with the code TLEAFA C9HC IF A 2. Okay, and then the learning competencies are the following follow and clarify instructions and directions based on authority requirements and workplace procedures. And then 2.2 undertake work in a safe and environmentally sound manner. And then that is so undertaking the horticultural production work as directed. Um, the time allotted is week uh, that is week five to week six, and then for the last week seven and week eight, okay, still undertake horticultural production work as directed. Okay, and then the following learning competencies: interact with other staff and customers in a positive and professional manner as specified. In the employee manual and then for 2.4 observe workplace practices handling and disposal of materials following and then 2.5 report problems or difficulties in com completing work to require standards or timelines the authority based on company reporting procedures yan lang po sa aking lesson guide and then i have a okay Makikita mo ba yung combining melts? Hello, yes, ma'am. My fellow lab teachers. Okay. Okay. Hello. Oh. Okay, so this is my... Um, ito yung nagawa ko ng combining melts. So, merong... I have here my four subjects. Uh, uh, the mathematics, the English, the Filipino, and... The science, Araling Panlipunan. Okay, so in combining milks, so you can see the different subjects and their most essential learning competencies. Nakikita ba yung milks? And of course, um, to make a meaningful assessment, so we applied grasps, which stands for um, goal, the role, the audience, situation, product, performance, and purpose and standards and criteria for success. So in, so in mathematics, uh, for Carter, uh, week one, Carter one illustrates quadratic equations. So I have only here the, what do call it? The rule, rule, design a piece of art. And then the role is here a graphic designer at the local design company that specializes in creativity. So dito po sa grass po, sir, and my fellow uh, lab teachers, uh, namix na po. <laughs> namix na po ito lahat. Uh, hindi ko po siya inisa-isa na in every subject, there is, there are graphs. 
Okay, so proceed na lang po ako. And then sa English, uh, use condition was an expressing argument. And uh, of course, since uh, the topic is to express argument, so the, uh, I, I, I indicated here the performance, which is turn condition statements into arguments. And then for Filipino, nasusuri yung mga pangyayari at kaugnayan nito sa kasalukuyan sa lipunang asyano ba tayo sa napakinyakda. So nakakagawa sila ng tula gamit ang haiko at tangka. And then for science, science, explain how the respiratory and circulatory system work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different parts of the body. Of course, they're going to make a model that shows how the circulatory system works together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from different parts of the body. And for Araling Kandipunan, Araling Kandipunan, sa so nilalapat ang kahulugan ng economics sa pang-araw-araw na pumumuhay bilang isang mag-aral at kasapi ng pamilya at lipunan. So dito, may papakita nilang kaugnayan ng kakapusan sa pang-araw-araw na pumumuhay sa pumagitan ng role play po. Okay, and then, um, for rubrics, rubrics, wala wala ang rubrics ko. Okay, so sa, sa rubrics ko, wala yung template ko. So, um, 50 points, of course, 50 points, uh, if your work must meet the following standard, that is, what are, what are those standards? Number one is, of course, for expertise, 40%. So, very informative na siya and well organized. And then, number two, accomplished, that is 30%, somewhat informative and organized. And then, number three, capable or capability, that is 20%, gives some new information, but poorly organized. And number four, um, they, uh, they, are, they, they are considered beginner, that is 10%, if they give no new information and very poorly organized. Yan lang po, sir, and my fellow lab teachers. Thank you so much again, Ma'am Anne and Ma'am Cheryl. Now let us proceed to the last presenter, Sir Dexter and Sir Randy Quinto. Take it away. Okay, you know that was so much. Eh? <laughs> Sino na kasi? Hindi pa masaya. Sir Dex, sino una, Sir Dex? Ako una, Sir. Ako una. <laughs> Sige, <laughs> while aga. Okay. Okay. So, habang hindi pa po na si-share ang screen. So, before ko po ma before po ako mag-present ng aking output, I would like to congratulate Ma'am Cheryl and Ma'am Ann for a job well done. So, ang napansin ko lang kay sa presentation ni Ma'am Cheryl is inobserve niya yung paggamit ng Bloom's Taxonomy at saka yung kay ah, yung depth of knowledge. Kasi nga, in-identify in niya yung verb na andon sa kanyang standard and then in-apply niya doon sa kanyang objectives. Uh, kay Ma'am A naman, napansin ko Ma'am, uh, okay naman yung presentation, napansin ko doon sa ano mo Ma'am, sa part na combining sa RASP, um, nailagay doon yung mga, ang tawag doon, parang yung component niya, pero hindi siya na-identify kung ito ba ay goal. O, parang nawala Ma'am, na-erase yata. Oh, so parang hindi hindi ko siya ma-identify kung saan doon na part. Siguro iniisip ko na lang na ay ah, yung pinakauna yun yung ano niya. Yung goal niya. So yun lang po ang napansin ko doon sa screen. Okay, yun lang po. All in all, um Magaling. Magaling po. Okay, congratulations. Sana lang. Ah, sir, pwedeng si Sir Randy na lang po muna. Oh. 
Okay, so Randy, it's your turn. Ayan, okay, okay na po. So Randy, okay na po. Hello, sir, uh, nakita na rin po ang presentation to sir. Yes, sir, Randy. Presentation, sir. Okay, sir, uh, good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, these are the collaboration or these are my observation sa paggawa ng combining milks through the content standard and the other one is through the uh, performance standard and content standard also. Uh, before I will proceed uh, to the, the presentation, uh, magbigay muna ako ng konting no, kay sa share nila ma'am ma'am ma 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 Anne, I think, and ma'am Cheryl. Actually, uh, about kay ma'am Cheryl, uh, my feedback about ma'am Cheryl, it is sa uh, being observed po talaga yung kanilang Bloom's Taxonomy and the DOK. So overall, about uh, Ma'am Cheryl is a two thumbs up. And uh, about kay Ma'am, uh, ano, kay Ma'am, kay Ma'am Ann Bagyentes po, uh, it is okay. But, uh, Parang, ano, naguguluhan na ako sa tema, ma'am. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, ma'am, but uh, it is a good presentations, ma'am. Okay, so, I proceed, sir? Hello? Yes, sir, you may proceed with your presentation, po. Okay, po. Uh, can I proceed, sir? So, this is the first, uh, the first, uh, ano ba ito, uh, combining. So, it's content standard and performance is standard. If you can see the content standard, it is being numbered from 1, 2, 3, 4, until 4, and the same also with the performance standard. Uh, because, uh, as I can see, doon po sa, ano, doon po sa MELCs, uh, this is a subject which is a introduction to philosophy of the human person. Nakita ko po kasi, in the first quarter or in the first semester, that is just only eight weeks. So, parang nagtataka ako, first quarter, uh, first semester is eight weeks only. So, kung titignan po natin, uh, the first quarter is eight weeks, right, sir? Tama po ba ako, sir? So, what I did is kinuha ko lahat ng first quarter, then I distributed that one eight weeks. And then I consulted also the references, yung mga reference po. Tignan ko po yung mga references na ginamit ko doon sa curriculum guide. It is broad po kasi yung kanyang ano. Broad po kasi yung kanyang uh, uh, subtopic or mga topic niya or there is also a subtopic. For example, for example, these are the learning areas of the grade. We have also the content, the code, and we have also the title right here or the subject. So in week one, uh, nakita po natin sa content, it is a process of philosophy of doing, a process of doing philosophy. So, it is included already here. The, the topic is distinguished the holistic and perspective form, partial or form, partial form point of view. The other one is realize the this value of doing philosophy and of them a broad perspective on life. And the other one is do philosophical reflections. A a considered situation from the holistic perspective. So this one it is being talked, this process of doing philosophy is being as uh, uh, or to become a topic for the first week and a weeks. That's why kung nakikita nyo po, um, this one, this one po is all topic from, all topic po from first week and weeks. Okay, ano na unsa na ni? The other one is the week, a various way of doing philosophy. It's the same also, we have three topics, but it is broad topic also, this uh, distinguish the opinion that the truth uh, realize what the method of philosophical lead to wisdom and truth. Other one is able with truth from the opinion and different situation using the method of philosophizing. So this one is uh, being uh, discussed with the student with three and with four. And then the other one, is the content itself is human person as embodied with the spirit. Ito siya. Uh, I consulted also with the with the references or reference. So it's just only two topics. Nagtataka ako, two topics only, but but sabi ko, we we'll try to see the references. It is a broad topic pala, napaka, napakahabang topic po. So it is a transcendence, it's all about the transcendence and we have also, yes, it's all about the transcendence or 
human person, the content is human person as embodied with the spirit. So it is being put the children or the child, the le learners, week five to week six. So the other one is this for the week seven and week eight is the interplay between the human and environment. So this one, uh, aesthetic way, or the other one is notice, notice the things that are not their proper place and organize them in an aesthetic way. And the other one is show that the care for the environment contribute to the health, well-being, sustain, and development. This being taught the learners uh, week seven and week eight. So this is this is my this is my combining of milks through the competitive standard. So, so so this one. So the other one. So the other one. Can I proceed, sir? Hello. Yes, sir. Please proceed. Are you still there? Sige po, sir. You may proceed with your Ay, second ah, combining. Wala na po. Akala ko ako na lang isa nagsasalita. Nakikinig po kami, akala sir. Akala ko ako na lang yung isa nagsasalita, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sige po, sige po. Uh, next po is the combined milks. Uh, so the content standard yata ito eh. And a, a content standard and performance standard i think so this is the template number two so so i am able to ano parang sabihin na lang natin in short way parang nahir nahirapan akong gumawa nito kasi i didn't know kung paano gawin so little by little as uh kunting research kunting basa-basa ng konti so i don't know kung nasundan ko but i will present it to you what i did so this is a combination or combine of milks grade 12 first semesters only uh i'm sorry i did not hindi ko po na ano this is a this is not only a core subject but instead this is a this is a subject for the grade 12 first semester if you can see this one uh one two three four five five six seven eight nine it is a nine subject po for the youngs 12 po ito siya so the first subject itself is understanding culture and society, contemporary arts, media, contemporary arts, even arts from the region, uh, media information literacy, physical education and health, 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. And we have also the practical research, Filipino, Sapiling Larang, Philippine politics, and we have also the it is a ano na yung, yung main subject. In the introduction to the word religion and uh, belief system. So, muha po ako ng milks in every subject na ito. So, so these are the, the these are the are the milks. So, discuss the nature of the goal. So, the noun itself is anthropology, sociology, and political science in contemporary arts. Describe various contemporary arts the other one is mil or media information tele tele literacy describe how communication influence the media so the other one is physical uh, education and health self-assess health related fitness uh, the other one is 21st century is the uh, writing a close analysis of critical interpretation of liter litera literacy text and doing of the adaptation of this required uh, learner to ability to identify the following geographic, linguistic, and so on and so on. Po. And practical research po, uh, describe the characteristic and strength, weakness of the kind of qualitative or quantitative quantitative research po. Uh, Filipino naman po, uh, na bibigyan kahulugan ang academic kumpalsulat and in PPG or Philippine politics po, explain the concept or an explanation of politics or politics, governance, and then government. And in introduction and word religion and belief, uh, differentiate the concept of eliminate the characteristic of belief, belief system, the word, and region. So if you can try to see, or, or if you can see, I've been highlighted in red po yung noun, and then come out my, to, to, uh, it come up to me that the theme theme of these milks, it's all about the Filipino culture. So that's why that's why po, napapansin nyo po dito balik po tayo, uh, puntahan po natin dito sa my graphs po, napapansin nyo po dito sa my graphs ko, it's all about a Filipino culture. No? And then 
And then, uh, ansinin po natin itong discussion or, or, or naka-highlights na blue. Or it is all about a, a verb being used. Discuss, describe, describe all again, self, assess, writing. Other one is what? The other one is describe again. Bibigyang kahulugan. Parang describe din, di ba? Explain, differentiate. So it came out also, uh, I've been thinking about this one, about the what you call it, the verb itself, that uh, the output, the possible output that they're going to make is the what you call it, is, is the uh, essay or close-ended or sinasabi nating essay. So that's why in my goal in graphs is the goal is to create an essay so if you consider right here, ASA, it's all about the Filipino culture. Pero may dinugdungan ko pa, I don't know if this one is correct, in the near future. So what will be the role of the learners? The learners, dapat maging observant sila or observer. Sabi, sabi nila, what, the role. Assuming that this one, that this one is the role. The other one is their linguist or linguistics. The other one is researcher. The other one is writer of a Filipino culture. Audiences, yung mga audience po natin, in your AC writing, in their AC writing, the learners, yung, yung AC writing po ng learners, the reader may awaken the awareness about the challenges of the Filipino culture. You know, those so dapat parang pupukawin nila yung gigisingin nila yung mga Filipino, Filipino natin about the losing Filipino culture. So say. Situation. Ano ba situation ngayon? Bakit ko pinapagawa ni sila ng ganito? So now, the Filipino culture changes over time when it has been impacted our daily life. Yes, it is true that it's being uh, changed over time. Those culture changes could be also, it's also our life. Other cultural group, so other cultural group advocate for the preser preservation of our culture. The learner, as a cultural group advocate, hey, he or she will awaken the readers of the observation of the culture. He or she will write an essay which will awaken the reader's mind about the changes of the culture and the reader may aware the existing culture can preserve. Also, uh, parang nag, nagkaroon po na clerical error po yata. Existing culture can preserve all, also our morality, yes, uh, morality of a Filipino. So product, so what will become their product? Yes, they may compose an essay po, which is awakening the readers through the cultural changes. So we have also the standard right here, uh, 40 points. So standard or the rubrics itself. The rubrics, I put it, the rubrics right here. Oops, wala po siyang uh, rubrics. So rubric. So the rubric right here, it is, uh, there are two, oh, dalawa po ang ano niya, ang maging kategory niya, so the quality of writing, and we have also the grammar use and mechanics. For the expert, we have 40 points. So, dapat ma-check itong 1, 2, 3. The other one is the accomplish, accomplish uh, 30 points. So, three indicators din po. And we have also the capable is 20 points, three indicators also. And we have also the beginners that is all, also three indicators. And uh, this rubric is so, I adapted this one from this one, www.totco.com, a zero breaks, two zero eight one three six seven. So, these are my presentation, these are my presentation in combining melts, uh, the first templates and the uh, second templates. Sir? Sir? Thank you so much, sir, sir? Randy. Maraming maraming salamat po. Salamat po. Wala pa friend mo present ako. Kol mo lang. Ara na ba? Ayo go go go. Sir Dex, Mr. Dex. Oh, sorry. Ara na. Ara na, ara na. Okay, so Once again, good afternoon. So, punta tayo sa unpacking the standards. So, sa standard ko, ah, uh, ang nakalagay dito ay nakapagsasagawa ng Ano kaginda mo da mo, Mr. Hello sir, ara na sir. <laughs> Opo, nakikita na po kayo. Pero yung presentation niya po nawala. Oo, nadula ang ano sir, nadula ang internet. So sa cellphone na lang ako nag ano. Okay. Nag okay, so proceed. Patuloy tayo sir. 
<laughs> okay. So, tinignan ko yung verb at saka kinumpare namin kung saan siya nabilong doon sa Bloom's Taxonomy at saka doon sa DOK. At nakita doon na doon sa pinakamataas, which is create. Ayan, ayan. Wow. Create. And then, dito naman siya sa DOK, belong sa dito sa my number four, which is extend, extended thinking. So, punta tayo dito sa ating objective. So, dapat madaanan niya itong mga nasa ilalim ng Bloom's Taxonomy at saka mag-reflect siya dito sa ating objectives. So, first na objective ay nakikilala ang iba't ibang anyo ng sulating pang-sports na ibibigay ang pagkakaiba at pagkakapareho ng mga kahulugan, kalikasan at katangian ng iba't ibang sulating pang-sports. At ang pangatlo naman ay nakagagawa nang pananaliksik kaugnay ng kahulugan, kalikasan at katangian ng iba't ibang sulating pang-sports. So kung mapapansin niyo mula doon sa pinaka um, hindi siya mahirap or madali siya papunta doon sa parang medyo komplikadong gawain ng bata. Okay, so punta tayo dito sa my objectives. Kinuha ko lang doon sa itaas at nilagay ko naman dito ang objectives na makikita natin dito sa bandang gitna at ito yung mga strategy o techniques na gagamitin ang malayang talakayan, isahang gawain, uh, pangkatang gawain at saka ang video presentation ng kanilang output kasi nga nasa pandemic tayo. Okay, yun lang po sir. Thank you so much for that. That's our last speaker. And I am very happy that everyone presented their work. However, before we end this, I think we need to listen to the comments, insights, feedback coming from group one to the presentation, output presentation of Sir Dexter and Sir Randy. Uh, this time, let's listen to Mom Aisha Grapil and his teammate, her teammate rather, Sir Mark. Pero si Ma'am Aisha lang magsasalita, right? Yes, sir. Okay, Ma'am Aish, it's uh, your no, turn. Sira yung mic mo, nag-yes ka dyan. Nakasala ka rin, Dexter. Cellphone ko ang gamit niya, friend. Dexter, Dexter. Sundakpan ka tayo. Okay. Ready na, sir? Yes, Ma'am Aish. Okay. Uh, good afternoon once again. Uh, I would like to commend the work of Sir Kinto and Sir Dexter. Uh, actually, when it comes to Sir, Sir Dexter, Sir, if hindi ako nagkakamali, uh, inaabangan ko yung uh, task ni teacher when it comes to the unpacking. But when it comes to the... Uh, unpacking of standards, uh, okay, okay po siya, swak na swak po, kasi uh, from, ay yung tawag natin doon, yung from simple po to, uh, ang difficulty level niya is, nadadaanan niya po siya. So, magaling na magsisimula yung bata sa mas madali, papunta sa medyo complex na, na, ano, na gawain. And, uh, congrats sir, kasi, uh, ang galing po nang ginawa nyo. And when it comes naman po sa output po ni Sir Kento, actually nagkaroon ako ng somehow naliwanagan ako. Kaya honestly po, nahihirapan ako when it comes to combining. And uh, ang galing po nang ginawa niya kasi mas lalo kong naintindihan when it comes to thematic and commonality po. Sir, congrats po. Uh, ang galing po nang ginawa niya. Dula sa friend. Yan lang po sir. Thank you so much. Congratulate all of you in surviving module two of LDM two. Your presented output shows your skills in unpacking and combining the most essential learning competencies in sequence and aligned with the content and performance standard. Thank you also for sharing your insights. With all these, we are attaining the standard that our department is leading us to everyone congratulations 
you deserve a virtual clap because all of you are winners. Congratulations and thank you. That ends our second virtual slack. Thank you.